Hi there, this is Michelle V. Hill with the University of Wyoming Extension Money Minutes. Today I'm going to be talking about Be Tax Ready for 2020. So on February 12th, the IRS will begin processing their 2020 tax returns. And this year, for the first time, the Forms 1040 and Form 1040-SR will be available in Spanish. There'll also be some other changes and some special, special circumstances related to COVID-19 that the IRS wants taxpayers to think about before filing. People that are facing financial difficulties may find that there's a tax impact to, cer uh, to certain events, such as a job loss, debt forgiveness, or tapping into their retirement fund. In addition, um, the information on the taxpayer's 2020 tax return may look different from the 2019 tax return. Individuals can check the what ifs for struggling taxpayers page for some scenarios that may have some tax that may have a tax impact for families. And that's on the IRS website too, irs.gov. This is where I've gotten this information too. It's, it's, it's good. So understanding la how last year's changes affected individuals and families and their tax returns is important. Um, so like, like I said, the IRS developed a, this fact sheet that I'm using right now to go over with you to highlight several of the um, implications for 2020. So what's important is to file a complete and accurate uh, return electronically to avoid fund delays. Um, everyone should organize their tax records to make preparing a tax return easier. The safe and most accurate way to file a tax return is to file electronically. The IRS expects about 90% of the indiv individuals to file federal returns electronically. E-filed returns have fewer errors, which means fewer delays. Um, you can also do your taxes for free online or in person. And the IRS says uh, partners with tax software providers and community organizations nationwide. IRS free file and free file fillable forms offer free tax preparation products for nearly all taxpayers. And you can go ahead and visit the irs.gov um, website to see that. They also, um, individuals can also check out, it's called VITA, Volunteer Income Tax Assistant and Tax Counseling for the Elderly. A lot of times they're, they're located, VITA is at the library. You can call them and check them out. The next one, you'll get your tax fund electronically if you let them know about your direct deposit. Um, if you need to make a tax payment, you can also make that electronic. Um, you can view your tax information online and create a pen. Uh, that's something that's important, a, a specialized pen. Um, something that's uh, also to be remembered this year is that unemployment benefits are taxable. Okay, a lot of people uh, filed this year for the first time in, in, in their probably life and it is a taxable program. So unemployment, um, you'll, you'll get a uh, probably a statement um, from, the un from the unemployment agency. Let's see if you're having um, another thing, gig economy work is taxable. So if you've made more than $400 from a gig on the side gig, that is, whether it's part-time or temporary, it is taxable. Make sure that you know your tax credits, what eligibility you have for tax credits. Because um, certain credits may lead to a refund if a person owes no tax. And there is what they call the earned income tax credit or the recovery rebate credit. And you can look those up on the website as well. There's also an additional tax credit eligibility. You can look that up um, depending on what your situation is. Then also something that is important to remember is they call it recovery rebate credit and economic impact payments. Um, they are commonly referred to as stimulus payments. And they, are, they're they were issued to individuals in two rounds. 
the first payment was $1,200 per adult. And then the other, there was qualifying things. The rebate um, and it was also, they are not, hold on, the economic, uh, the stimulus payments are not taxable, okay? Uh, the recovery rebate tax is a tax credit against the 2020 income tax. And, and it, it will increase the amount of tax refund or decrease in the amount of owed on the 2020 tax refund. Also, let's see, what else? If you have questions about your individual situation or uh, needs regarding your tax, I would, I would contact your accountant, a bookkeeper, or go on the irs.gov website and look it up. Um, this is Michelle V. Hill with the University of Wyoming Money Minutes, and thank you for joining me.